Okay, so the flight control team uh, right now, we're uh, looking like uh, we're about 30 minutes away from docking. Anyone tracking any issues that we haven't already talked about or uh, anything that's popped up as a constraint? Okay, hearing none, we'll keep pressing. And uh, if anything comes up, let us know. Atlanta, it's on uh, Ground 2. We'll give you KU for calm down, if you like. We're good with that flight. We'll take it. We'll take it. Thank you. DPS flying. Go ahead, flight. Yeah, just something for... Uh, you to stick in your to-do list, um, given the number of random pieces of equipment that haven't responded to switches or commands when we've uh, sent them today, I'm starting to suspect maybe we might have some other data systems issues here that, uh, that might be common causes to some of our things. I don't want to mess with it right now, but uh, if you guys aren't already thinking about that and, and investigating it, uh, just put that on your list. Uh, copy flight, and actually we were just talking about that. It's looking like the GNC on Skimble and Max's vent door commands can both be traced back to the same card and channel on FF4. FF4. You are not paranoid if they really are after you. Okay. And flight Max, we, we concur with what DPS is saying. It, it looks, I'm no longer suspecting uh, AC2 mid-4. Yeah, it looks to me like it's a commanding problem. Well, the thing that tipped me off was when we found that breaker very nicely closed and comfortable. Okay. So I'm no longer PLS for pillow bay doors, but I'm still CSCS for getting that vent door closed. Okay. We can, uh, we can talk about it a little bit more post-doc. Copy and concur. And flight GNC. GNC. Flight was just confirming uh, Q that it could be the FF that would take us out of the potential PLS. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, 
police said something we can investigate further. Okay, good, good. Sounds like you guys were already talking about it. Thanks. Thank you. Go ahead. KU is in calm mode. KU to calm. Thank you. Flight rendezvous, 100 feet. Copy. Flight Max. Go ahead. Uh, we still haven't seen any docking prep, so I'd like to call the crew into that. Okay. 8-7.
Atlantis Houston, air to ground two. We are ready for docking prep. Power on the uh, docking system with power and push button. Everything else uh, is completed. The lights are on. Max copies. Ah, very good. Thank you. Okay. Is there something we uh, can't see? We got a telemetry problem, Max? Uh, I took the cruise call to mean that she will take on power, the, do the power on push button. Inside. Okay. And she just got it. All right. Good config for flight, for docking. Flight GNC, we have secured from Lozzi. Atlantis on Space Air Ground 2. You probably see that, but it looks like the capture lights failed on. That's Flight Max, we see damping failed on. We're no go for docking. Copy. What do we need to do? Stand by. Flight Max, with the capture light failed on, we need to have them over on 8 17. Capture light failed on. All right. Capture light failed on on page 8-17. And flight rendezvous, I still yeah, recommend. You as well, you probably see that damping is on, and I'm looking at capture light failed on procedure, so I can take uh, PSC power main A and main B off and uh, then turn them on post-capture if you'd like. That's a good plan. That's the plan we want. That's right where we are, Sandy. Please do that. Rendezvous. I was going to say I recommend still pressing the 30 feet. Concur. In Atlantis, you're still good to press the 30 feet. We'll reavail then. Copy. We'll uh, press the 30. One minute to hand over. And flight max, we see the PSU power main A and main B off per the capture light fail on procedure. Copy. Good config for docking. Handing over. Command 171.
Pilots are stats. Flight Max, the crew has completed all the actions and the capture light failed on. Once we get uh, contact and over on the docking sequence cue card, the crew will take PSU power main A and main B back on per the post-capture items and the capture latch filled on. Okay. And there should be no additional deltas for the docking sequence cue card. Okay, very good. So you go to press with that plan. Affirmative. Got it. Atlantis Houston on the big loop. Uh, APDS is in a good config for docking, so no liens against that. Um, Sandy, you see that there are post-capture steps and the capture light failed on. We'll leave that up to you. Good words. conversation, I understand that uh, the PSU power main A, main B2, both are coming on after we verify there's no physical separation post-capture. Affirmative. Exactly. Just refraining that so we all, all uh, make sure we're caught up. Thanks, Cindy. Houston, Atlantis on the big loop. Uh, we don't see a flyout required, so we're ready to uh, initiate final approach on your call. Okay, uh, rendezvous, GNC, ready to press in. Rendezvous go if Max is go. GNC's go. Max is go. Let's do it. Houston, shuttle side is go for that. Copy, commencing final approach. Flight GNC. Go ahead. Flight, I'm hearing uh, ADCO needs us to do a flyout. ADCO needs us to do a flyout. The flight rendezvous, I can't comment on that. The crew has the best view. The crew's flying off the center line camera. I Flight rendezvous. Station in Houston, Atlantis on the big loop. We are initiating final approach. Station copies, final approach. Houston copies. Flight rendezvous. Okay, let's ask the crew to hold. We're assessing some attitude errors on the ISS side. Hold the approach, please. Atlantis Houston on the big loop. We would like you to hold and continue the 30 foot hold. Sorry for the change. At 30 feet, the crew flies out to one degree. As they the approach group, further uh, in, they have a two-degree limit. We will hold at 30 feet and uh, stop our approach at this time. That's a, a firm. Stand by. Atlantis, just so you know, we're assessing flyout considerations here. Just keep standing by. Okay. For 
the team and for the crew. Uh, the ISS team believes that uh, their um, attitude determination sensor on the Russian side is biased and that the ISS is actually out of attitude by about two degrees. They're going to have the Russian switch sensors and snap back into attitude, and then we'll give them a go to press. I think it's about five minutes. And fl in flight rendezvous? Rendezvous? Not trying to muddy the water, but if they're holding attitude, we can push in with a two-degree offset. If if they move those two degrees, then the crew probably will have a flight. Yeah, and two degrees. station flight or shuttle flight station flight, the attitude error is growing. So we're we're yeah. about two degrees now, and it's growing. So yeah, that's yeah. That's, we're coordinating with uh, with Moscow to get it corrected, and uh, we'll get back in attitude and then give you give you a call. Okay, sure. you guys should you guys should probably let both spacecraft know the situation on the on the big loop so that the crews right, we're both crews that are aware. Atlantis uh, for the flyout. We looks like uh, at uh, 30 feet we didn't see a half flyout, but now it's progressed. That uh, we do look like we have a little bit of right wing down for about uh, two degrees. We'll take this one. Okay, Rex, uh, we copy that. We want to let you know that um, right now we are switching uh, the Russian rate and attitude source, and uh, when we are complete with that, you'll be given a go to proceed. Okay, we copy, thanks. Houston from the shuttle side. Uh, just to add to those good words, uh, the station is slightly out of attitude, and, and that is growing. Uh, we're doing some work on the station to fix that, so if you keep holding right there, we'll get uh, station back to the right attitude, attitude hold, and then we'll give you a go to go on in. Okay, we copy, uh, Steve Ray, just let us know when we need to do another flight determination. And just to be clear, the uh, item I was looking at was the roll. Item 16 was right wing down. Okay, thank you, Rick. And we copied that flight. on air to ground two for uh, post docking. Go ahead, air to ground two. Yeah, Steve, just want to clarify, we're looking ahead at the procedure and uh, with the capture lights on, obviously we can't give you a capture confirmed, so we're going to just give you uh, a no physical separation present if that's the case. Uh, does that work for you guys? That's a good plan, flight. Yeah, that sounds great. Thanks for uh, being proactive on that. Atlantis on air to ground two. Uh, a few minutes ago, the station flight told us 
that this attitude uh, uh, fix that they're going to do should only take a few minutes, maybe five-ish, so uh, it's not going to be a long wait. Copy. Thanks for the update. Shuttle flight station flight with an update. Your loop. Go ahead, sir. Okay, so we're on a U.S. rate. So the attitude error is about 2.2 degrees and no longer growing. We are coordinating with the Russians to get back on a U.S. attitude source. We're told to expect that uh, in the next couple minutes here, and then a short short while to clean up the attitude error. The other option is the shuttle crew could fly out this roll error. All right. So the error is no longer growing. Is that, that correct? Is correct. Okay. Now, if they do fly this out uh, and the Russians proceed to go back on U.S. source, then they would be reintroducing the air. So I recommend we just continue to sit tight here uh, for an additional couple minutes to, to give the Russians time to put this in work. Let's, we've put in the request for them to switch sources, so let's, okay. let's give them a couple minutes. So we, this is a multilateral machine, and we've already got the ball rolling in a That's certain right. direction, so we'll, we'll let it play out. Rendezvous copy. And Quatsi, once we give you a call that we're back in the docking attitude, we should give the crew a call uh, at that point to tell them to, to verify that it all looks good, see if they need to fly out, and then uh, they should be good to press in from there. And about how long do you think? I was told it would take, what, ADCO five minutes to clean up the attitude once they get on a U.S. Uh, attitude source. Are they commanding that through your S band, I assume? And prop, about how long do you think we can uh, station keep like this until we start worrying about our gas gauge? We could hold for at least a few hours. Okay. Flight Max. Max. Uh, looking ahead at the station orbiter docking script, because of the situation with the capture light and the damping, I won't be able to make my capture confirmed call until I see the crew activate the PSU powers again. I understand it. Landis Houston, air to ground two status. Uh Still working on attitude over on station side, swapping sensors and then fixing the attitude. It looks like it'll be a few more minutes, but uh, we don't see any uh, anything wrong with waiting. Okay, copy. Thanks for the update, and it uh, definitely is starting to look a little better out the uh, online camera and out the window. Okay, sounds good. Once they think they're uh, back in attitude and, and uh, have the rates down, then we'll ask you to reassess for the flyout.
just so you know, if we had to go in right now, we'd probably do a night and 15 uh, with about a degree and then press, so it's uh, definitely looking close. Shuttle flight, station flight, your loop. That was good. Go ahead, station flight, my right, loop. We're on a good... We're on a good reference, uh, attitude reference and rate reference. We show us back in the docking attitude and uh, stable. So you guys are go to give the shuttle words to press in. Okay, so we are go to press for docking. And you may want to have them do an attitude flyout uh, if they deem that necessary. All right, we'll reassess the flyout and give them a go to press. Good words. Atlanta Houston on the big loop. Okay, we're back at the game. Station is uh, in docking attitude and stable. Go to re reassess the uh, flyout. And Houston, looks like we're going to make a uh, item 15 change uh, of a degree or two, so we'll put that in and uh, let you know how it looks. Copy. Okay, folks, at this point, the uh, crew's going to prepare to press in. Let's hold any calls that don't directly pertain to uh, execution of the capture and hard mate. If you do uh, pick up anything that is a constraint to docking, uh, sing out, please, loudly and succinctly. Flight GNC, they're doing the flyout. Copy. Houston, uh, Atlantis on the big loop. Flyout's complete. We like the picture uh, with your go. We're ready to proceed uh, for final approach. There you go. Atlantis on the big loop. Your go to initiate final approach. We copy. Uh, station Atlantis is initiating final approach. Station copy. For the team, I'm looking at Joint Ops 1.107 Station Orbiter Docking Script. Fifteen feet, good art up.
TCT armed. on a big loop. Our SMPCS locked up, so we will be sending command on the Russian laptop. Houston copies. Contact. Copy contact. Capture confirmed. Shuttle free drift. Houston Station, looks like we have uh, no physical separation. We assume capture confirmed. Station copies. Station copies. Station flight confirms free drift. Atlantis and Station, Station free drift is confirmed. Happy free drift is confirmed. No action, spec 88. No action on the spec 88 message. Phase Bravo again. Copies. A firm flight. No action on spec 88, Atlantis. Thanks, Steve. One minute to hand over. You see, we see ourselves in step three. We're watching curse. We're with you, step three. Okay, here comes step three. We see step three complete. Waiting in step four. Handing over. And Flight Max, we're still seeing a little relative motion, so we're still waiting. Tap. And teacher spare. Houston, uh, we see ourselves ready for step six. How about you? Checking. Flight Max, we're still seeing a little relative motion. Have a crew stand by. Please stand by on step six. Still watch a little bit of relative motion, Atlantis. Copy, standing by.
five max. We're go for step six. Copy. Atlanta Center Ground Two, you're go for step six. Copy. Here we go. Somewhere on the flip side of the card in step eight, holding for you, go. We're evaluating. Keep holding on step eight. Max, we'll go for step eight. Tapping. Atlantis, you are go for step eight. Copy, we're go for step eight. We see step eight, rings driving in. Looks like we're at 6.4 on uh, 1 and 3. Oh, there's a contact light. Houston, we see the contact light on, and we pushed the uh, power on push button. Good call. Thank you. We concur with that. And Flight Max, it looks like we were riding on the fixers, and one of them failed. The contact indication came on. So okay. We are now in the start block in step 8. Copy. Atlantis, uh, for step eight, uh, we see you in the start block now. Yes, we agree with you, Steve, and we're holding on for ring alignment. Right oh. the team uh, looking forward. Uh, if you could take a look at block 22 alpha on page 4-22 of the uh, rendezvous book. Let me know if you have any deltas. Flight 
Max. Max, not for 22 Alpha, but for Block 8. Yes, sir. Uh, once we, we're getting alignment very quickly here, so once we get it, we'll have the crew do the ring in per the star block. If while they're driving in, they lose the ring aligned light, we'll have them then do a power on push button to halt the drive again, and we'll wait for alignment. Houston, we see the ring aligned light back on, so we're starting our 30 second timer. We concur. 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 Flight Max, they were previously using the contact telemetry as their cue to halt drive. I want them now to use the ring aligned light since the fixers are no longer functioning correctly. Copy that. We'll tell them. In Atlantis, uh, after you push the ring in push button there at the bottom of the start box, as, the ring, as it's ringing in, uh, if you lose the ring aligned light, then do a power on push button push. Good read. Okay, uh, Stevie Ray, we see all the we see the base position inside of twenty, uh, so uh, we think we're pretty good from here on in. They're correct. Incur. Flight Max, hooks are driving, dual motor. Copy. Okay, while hooks are driving, uh, let me go around the horn here. Uh, GNC, any deltas for 22 Alpha? Negative flight. Prop? Negative. Okay, uh, rendezvous, you aware of any? I have none flight. Okay. Max, you think you guys are going to have any deltas for 22 Alpha? Negative. Okay. Step 14 and work, Houston. Okay. Houston copies. We're watching. Flight Max, we see 12 hooks closed. We're going right up to control. Copy.
assemble yourselves complete with the docking sequence cue card. We're headed back to uh, air to ground two and terminate rendezvous ops block 22A. Max concurs. We're with him. Concur. Good job. See you on 22 Alpha. And Atlanta Center Ground 2, no deltas on 22 Alpha. All right, so put that in work. Houston and Station Atlantis, we are beginning initial hatch leak checks. We are in post-docking hatch leak check, uh, Houston. And Flighty, come, we can perform that from the ground. We'll take care of that from the ground. And uh, Atlantis, Houston, shuttle on the big loop, we'll take care of that from the ground. And in the meantime, Ecom, you want them to go uh, grab, grab a towel and check the LEV for water force? Flighty, come, it's a little more complicated than that. Uh, give us just a minute to get work together. To pick up on leak checks on our side? Fair enough. Jeff, you have to go. And Stevie Ray, I understand uh, you're going to do the post-docking hatch leak check from the ground, and in step five, when it's complete, you will call us and let, e let us know when we're ready for vestibule pressurization. Is that correct? Stay firm. Absolutely correct, Atlantis. Very good. Just make sure I understood. Thank you. You bet. Steps in step one of 22 Alpha are complete. Thank you. Shuttle flight ACO for MPLM troubleshooting. Go ahead. I've got flight note 12 out there for you to look at when you got some time. This is our plan for the troubleshooting of the MPLM telemetry. We'll be looking for some time to do that here this afternoon. Okay. Well, why don't you and FAO chat about that, and then uh, we'll uh, we'll take a look at the, the details. Flight FAO chat complete. All right. 
We're looking at doing this on pilot right after we power Houston, down. Uh, Atlanta, so Rock 22 Alpha. You ready for LBLH, kind of the middle of the uh, left-hand column? GNC is ready for that. We'll take it. Houston is ready for LVLH on the depth. Flight DPS. And flight GNC. GNC, go ahead. We selected LVOH on the depth. We are back in attitude control. When the crew's ready, we'll go to maneuver. 3-26, flight plan. DPS, go ahead. Flight DPS, I uh, just wanted to get a go to uplink our nominal docked VPs. Yeah, have a go. Houston, station on one on the big loop. Go ahead, Jeff, switching on the big loop. Okay, I'm in two decimal 102, step 3.3. You ready to copy numbers? We're ready. Okay, TMT 2005, pressure is 754. Copy off. Max, we see the crew working docking mechanism power on. Okay, very good.